in 98. Mm -hmm. Well, first you guys dropped the soundtrack to the film Woo mm -hmm. under uh, entertainment. Mm -hmm. And then Cameron's first album comes out, Confessions yeah. of Fire. While the industry was saying, unfinished. Right, because Biggie's Cause dead. Because Biggie's dead. Yeah. Right? So all of a sudden, we ship a gold album on a brand new artist out of nowhere, right? This 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 artist that Dame Dash at in Freeze Record didn't know what to do with Cameron, right? He was signed to, to Freeze Records with 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 uh Jay Z, Reasonable right. Doubt, right? So we had to buy Cam out of his Freeze contract, right? And and blew him up. Right. And, well, on that same album, Confessions of Fire, was the song Horse and Carriage. Yes. Which Mace was on. Yes. Mace was supposed to show up in the music video. Mm -hmm. And I guess wanted to charge Cameron like 25000 or something. Mm -hmm. And Cameron got insulted. And that sort of set off the dipset Mace beef that went on for um, Well, what decades. actually happened was, is that at the time when Big was helping to break Mace, right? Mm -hmm. Remember, Puff signed Mace. So can you imagine what kind of contract Mace got? <laughs> right? Because Big just came off that same contract, yeah. right? The locks, all of them came off the same contracts, right? So Mace, with Big rapping with Mace on the 112 remix, Big Mace is broke. So Big says, Un, give Mace a check. And he's going to write for C's. Right? He's going to write records for C's. Mace comes back with a record called Crush On You hmm. for Little C's album. This was a Little C's big paying, unpays Mace. I think we paid him. Fifty thousand, seventy-five hundred dollars a record, he right? Records. He made six records, right? So I, he comes back with "Crush on You." It's three verses with little C's on it. That record is is by the time it was time to finish Kim's album, I say Big says put the version with little C's version on Kim's album, and because we're gonna help break, you know, C's. And put a sixes uh, a snake song on there to set up. This. That's the only records, right? So now, the original album that we shipped, Kim wasn't even on Crush on You. It was all C's for three verses. Right, and Big is doing the chorus. And Big is doing the chorus yeah. on the original half a million albums. I think we shipped huh. on Kim. And then you switch it up to the Kim version. And then we did a remix. Oh. A million albums. A million albums. Albums without Kim. Without Plus Kim. Kim. And then we did, Kim did, rapped on the record. She wrote her own verses. Mm -hmm. And Big said, come up with an idea for the video. Crush on you. The, the first video, Big was going to direct it. <laughs> he was going to play all of the characters. He's going to play different characters. Like, and he had this dance he used to call the bum bitch. <laughs> and he said, I'm going to be doing the bum bitch, trying to lock C's up as Martin, the cop from Martin. Right? So I come up with the idea for Crush on You. He said, that's the video. Yeah. Right? So, and that's how. Right. And, and of course, before then, you know, after Big Pass, the Life After Death album comes out. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, I, I did some, you know, I did some polls. Most people felt that Life After Death was a better album than Ready to Die. Would you agree? Um, I, I think that there was growth. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he took it to another level, you know, and it's that's that's what artists do. Yeah, they get, 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 get better. I mean, two great albums. I, I like them both for yeah. personal reasons. Yeah. You know, I, I personally can't choose between the two, yeah. but they're both they're both yeah. great. Yeah, but you hear the growth. Though. Yeah, 